and zooming out, how far did you end up getting with your education? Um, so I missed a lot of high school. A lot of people don't probably notice, but um, it was some years where I missed like 60 to 80 days. I stayed skipping school. And then my senior year, I ended up getting pregnant with my son. And uh, my counselor at the time, I had only, I went into like my senior year with 13 credits. So that's for anybody that don't know how our credit system works was like you need 40 plus credits to graduate depending on the type of diploma you want. Um, I went into my senior year with 13 credits and my counselor told me that it was no way I was gonna be able to graduate. Um, and I remember looking at him and telling him, put as many classes as you can on my schedule because I'm not coming back here to be a second year senior. So do whatever you gotta do and I remember I got, I graduated with two extra credits. I think I got 33 credits in one year and I missed two months of school because I had my son. And when my counselor handed me my diploma, he just put his head down. I said, I told you I was gonna get it. He said, you did. He just put his head down and handed it to me. And putting his head down, what did that signify? Like, um, you you remember what you said to me, and now you gotta stand on it. So it's like a moment, like you really like embarrassed that I did it. But I would have respected it more if you would have said like congratulations. But you just said you did and put your head down and handed me my diploma. But in my mind, I I just felt good. Like you told me I wasn't gonna do it, and I did. So in essence, in terms of your education, you did graduate high school, but mm -hmm. you stopped furthering your education after that. Um, the only thing I did after that was trade school, and that was to get my nail license. And care to share where you got that at? Yep, Penrose Academy. And you passed the first time? Um, no. So the first time I initially had uh, taken my state board, they said that my monomer wasn't low odor or something like that, and you're supposed to have low odor on monomer, which the bottle said low odor, and the instructor she literally came and smelled my monomer and was like, this is not low odor. And I'm like, what? So I remember being so frustrated. She was like, you can uh, continue with your exam. I'm like, how? Because I can't do an acrylic application with water or acetone, none of the stuff that I have left on my station, you taking my monomer. So I actually left. And then I had contacted the state board and then they ended up paying for me to do it again. I filed a complaint against her because they had already signed off on my monitor because it said low odor, it was sealed, they checked everything, and then she decided to approach me during my test and smell my monitor as if her nose had a gauge or something like, oh, this is not low odor. I'm like, damn, like, I, I was really discouraged when she did that. The second time around, I passed it and I still had an hour left. Anything else you wanna mention about your education or question you weren't asked People want to know just about that. Um, right now, it's not something that I'm going to do like within the next year or so, but I would say once everything slows down with my music career, I do want to further my education and uh, start studying law. So I know it's going to take eight plus years. So once I do start it, I want to lock in and focus. So once this slow down, I want to kind of get into that. And why the interest there? It's always interests me. I always told everybody in my family if I ever went to college, that's the only thing I would go to college to be. And is it a specific type of attorney or lawyer? Criminal. And, it, and it's more so to understand the ins and outs of these laws um, so that I can implement change. And when you say criminal, is that prosecution or defense? Defense.